I uh, really appreciate that introduction from, from Kelly and, and um, of course, Liberty Pack. You know, I want to introduce myself first. I'm, as you just heard, I'm Don Huffines, and I am the Republican nominee for Senate District 16. Let me give you a little background on Senate District 16. It's in Dallas County. It's essentially the north half of Dallas County, and I'm one of 31 state senators in, in Texas, and we represent about 825,000 people. And, you know, I want to give you the landscape real fast in Texas. The Republicans are going to control every statewide elected office in the state. We control the Senate and we control the House. Our big fight in Texas is between the moderates and the real liberty-loving conservatives. But I am doubly excited about winning because I am going to now be part of a freshman class of eight new freshman senators. And every one of us are liberty-loving, Tea Party kind of guys and gals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that is significant. That is 40% of the Republican delegation and 25% of our Senate. So we're going to get a, you're going to be shocked at what's going to come. We'll probably have the most conservative legislative body in America. And I really, I really mean that. All right, it was funny walking up here today because I was thinking that you guys and my campaign all have a lot in common, my staff, because no, nobody knows what I'm going to talk about. You know, <laughs> this last year has been an amazing journey for me. I've met diverse groups of all kinds of folks. And just last week, I was in an event. I said, okay, I'm going to ask a question. Okay. And I was curious. So I said, what is a libertarian? And the room got really quiet. I said, oh, great. You know, 30 seconds seemed like a minute. And finally, this old guy in the back stuck up his hand. And he says, you know, a libertarian is a Republican conservative that got busted. <laughs> That was a joke. So I guess everybody here has been busted at least once. Oh, that's a good thing. Okay, now a little background on myself. As you guys know from the video, I am not a politician. I have never run for office before until last year I decided to do this. I have five perfect children most of the time. They were all, they were all homeschooled, four boys and a girl. So all you kids in homeschool, there is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. They all got into major universities and are doing great. I've been married to my perfect wife for 27 years. And with the four boys and a girl, I brag on the boys. All four boys are Eagle Scouts. I spend a lot of my time in Boy Scouts. And, you know, it's, uh, it's been a great journey. Uh, also, I graduated from the University of Texas in 1981 and started, forgot, I started my own real estate company in 1985 with my identical twin brother, Philip. And it's come a uh, very big business now, and I'm very excited about it and very proud of it. I want to ask you guys a question, though. Where does liberty come from? Our founding fathers knew this answer. It's an ancient question, and it comes from God. God has bestowed upon us certain inalienable rights, as you know. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. The founding fathers knew that the only threat to our God-given rights was a government. So, they created a government whose sole purpose was to protect our liberty. You know, governments don't give you liberty. They take it away from you. God gives us liberty. Our nation was divinely inspired and divinely created. It is imperative that we never lose this focus. Because truly blessed are those that come in the name of the Lord. I'm here today for the same reason that you guys are, because I have a passion for liberty, for freedom. One percent. One percent is all it takes to make a difference. One out of a hundred. The number is really staggering when you think about it. One percent certainly made a difference in my campaign. When I look at the country today and our leadership, the nation is extremely hostile to freedom and liberty. Those that have power, Seem to have forgotten, of course, our basic principles of what the nation was founded under. I no longer see a country that I want my children to inherit. But let's look briefly at the positive. Our communist President Obama has continued to fi fan the fires of liberty. Huh? His minions have done great work to make believers in freedom. 
every policy and law he puts forth that further enslaves us with the chains of big government also awakens us. It awakens thousands, if not millions of people to the truth. Just look, if Mitt Romney had won, what would we have? We'd still have trillion dollar deficits, big government, more spending, more wars. But we got Obama and we got moderate Republicans over the past years. So now the door is really open in 2016 for a true liberty conservative candidate. I predict we will have the most conservative liberty candidate this country's ever seen in the last hundred years. He will win the Republican nomination and Rand Paul will be our next president of the United States. <clears throat> you know, I'm here to tell you guys that conservatives can win. We can take our country back. That's the message you want to get across. It is our responsibility to pave the way for others to follow. You saw that in the opening video. It takes passion, it takes initiative, it takes desire. You know, change is happening in our country. The liberty conservative message resonates because we have the answers. <clears throat> Ever since I decided to run for the Senate back in November, the state Senate, it's been a whirlwind journey. Going into the race, I knew we would have an uphill battle. I had 125 days, that's all, to unseat this 23-year incumbent. As the video says, the most powerful Republican state senator in Austin. And this is in Senate District 16, which is the heart of the Republican Party in Texas. We were the first Republicans in the state of Texas, which has only been in like the last 20 years. And the road to the White House always goes through my district. You know, my opponent was a trophy rhino, and I love to hunt. <laughs> I really, I love to hunt. You know, <clears throat> so if I'm going hunting, I want a Boone and Crockett. I knew that I needed to surround myself with a strong team, a strong grassroots base must lead us to victory. We knew to win that we had to stay disciplined we had always stay on message, it's very important. And we had to give people confidence that their voice was gonna be heard in my campaign. Now let me give you a little bit of wee, wee bit of advice here. When you sign up for something that the establishment really wants, guys, you better come to play. Like I said, as my son says, don't get in the Thunderdome if you can't make any thunder. You know, if your spouse or your family or you can't handle it, don't play the game because there are no rules. Put in your mouthpiece and you come out swinging. And that's what we did when January rolled around. We began to provide our first contrasting messaging, which means tell the truth in a negative way. <laughs> I remember sitting in a room with one of my team members who warned me that I was going to have a lot of blowback about all this. And if I didn't receive any, it means we weren't doing our job good enough. The establishment was absolutely not going to sit by and lose his seat. And boy, was he right. One night at, before a debate, this elderly lady came up to me, and she walked right up to me, and she had in her hand all my mail, which I sent a lot of it, and she chucked it right in my face. She says, you know, this is nothing but gossip and trash, and this is horrible, and... And right then, a lot of thoughts went through my mind. And I said, you know what? What came, came back to us, we must be winning. We must be making progress now. And we were. Approaching the primary, we had an unprecedented effort. Never in the history of the state of Texas had anybody, anybody done what we were doing. While he was spending five and a half million dollars, we were out making thousands of phone calls, knocking on hundreds of doors every day all told that my team and I hit over 200,000 doors. We hit the same doors, targeted voters, up to four times. Nobody's ever done that. We made over 300,000 phone calls. And I was consistently talking about personal freedom, the right to choose for yourself, the individuals that need to keep your own treasure. Your money belongs to you and not the government. 
It was a message that I would benefit all Texans and specifically not the special interest. I knew we had to inspire the grassroots and it worked. On March the 4th, the grassroots put us on the top and we won in a landslide. 635 votes out of 50,000, 1%, a little over 1%. I am proof positive you can take on the establishment by echoing the grassroots message and you can win. You know, leading the grassroots effort and hearing their concerns by sitting in their living rooms and standing on their front porches taught me a lot what voters really want. And I always enjoyed it. But they're really expecting results, solutions to the big issues they experience in everyday life. And we need to message that with a liberty message. They want to fix transportation, they want border security, they want less taxes, they want less government, and they want to fix education. And since the election, I've been going around the state of Texas and nationally soliciting those answers and the solutions to those problems and starting a dialogue with it with my fellow senators. And the solutions are hard because they force hard choices, choices that people are not used to hearing about or making of less government, a free market, a true free market. But I'm not there to win friends. I am not their political friend. I'm here to make hard choices in the Capitol and I will never give in. We have an important election coming up this fall. And even though I do not have an opponent, praise the Lord, I know I will win, of course. I will be working tirelessly to support conservative candidates who will help solve the biggest issues facing our great state of Texas and this country. And I hope you guys will help also. Right now, we are fighting for the soul of America and the soul of the Republican Party. So let's be a beacon for the rest of the nation to show that limited government and freedom will always lead to unprecedented prosperity. Now I'd like to challenge you with a phrase that I've used in my business for 30 years and also used in my campaign. It's a motto we use. It's seeing beyond the obvious, seeing beyond the obvious. And we need to leave this weekend to show that we can use this. You know, we can challenge the establishment, we can win. Having opinions across the political spectrum from everyone helps us tackle the big issues. Together we can shape the future of the nation and guarantee the freedoms that are being constantly stripped away from us will be brought back. Okay, now I want to ask you guys some questions. Do you want to see our Constitution shredded and put in the trash can every day? No. Ooh. Do you want government to tell you what you can and can't do? Do you want your life Every aspect of your life dictated by the status and bureaucrats. No. Oh, well, neither do I. And that is a liberty message. It's simple. And it's a winning message. I want you to think really hard what I'm going to say. We are the Republican Party of the future. We will save America by returning back to what our founding fathers wrote, our Constitution. And not only are we going to save America, but we will save the entire world. It is our destiny. The evil that is inspiring big government, which is enslaving humanity, will choke on its own success. The world is dying for the water of liberty. The water that you have, that you can offer them. The pendulum is now swinging back our way. The dawn is coming of a new political era. Our day is coming. The dawn is now a world more prosperous, more free, more peaceful than we can all imagine. It has arrived. Warriors of liberty, we must press on through the fog to victory because second place is last place. You know, my fight is local, as most of our fights are, but they have severe national consequences. You know, 1% can make a difference, 
Believe me, I am proof positive of that. Go out and be the difference maker. Use your smile, your sense of humor, your intelligence to persuade those around you to the truth of liberty. We will prevail. It is our destiny. Thank you very much. Thank you.